up guys, Matt here with Droid Tech and in this video we're going to be looking at the Star Wheels, Startron Demon and this is really a beast of a scooter because you have seen my previous video where I did the Startron Mega and that was really a beast, I mean like the speed, everything was incredible but this is taking it to the next level Okay, let's go through the specs real quick So, this scooter has a twin 5600 watt motor so right in front and the back, let me show you right here, front and on the rear. Okay, and then the highlights of this scooter is that it uses hydraulic suspension as compared to the Startron Mega, which uses a regular spring suspension. But this uses a hydraulic suspension on the front and the rear. So let me show you the rear. See, these are very comfortable. I've been riding this to work actually for the past couple of days and oh my, this is next level. So the other highlight feature is actually front and rear hydraulic disc brakes. Let me give you a look at the rear. I'm not sure why they're on a different side, but it is what it is. Okay, let's take a look at the front. We have this nice angel eye lamps, which I'll be showing you later when I turn it on. And similar to the Statra Mega is that these tires are actually 11 inches. However, this scooter is built mostly for off-road. So you're going to get nice sort of like crawler tires. See, very nice grip. These tires are not really good for street use but i mean it does a job but of course if you're going off-road with this you're going to really benefit from these tires so it's slightly thicker as well as compared to the startron mega overall the build is basically the same as the startron mega but however this is 10 centimeters longer and as you can see the mud flaps are different below the mud flaps you get this nice tail light right here so you get a nice tail light and also overall, the plate right here where you're going to be standing on, this is slightly wider and longer as well. Okay, there's also a carrying handle, similar to the Startron Mega. And what else do you get? Basically, the controller is also the same. However, if you watch my previous video, you will notice that there were two buttons here, one for the horn and one for the lights. And that wasn't that good because sometimes I didn't know which one to press when I, was, when I wanted to press the horn, I would press the lights instead of the horn and vice versa so it wasn't such a good position however they have actually changed it so it's now right here same function three modes bright dim and stroke so you can see this is actually the bright mode and then if i switch it on and off you can get the dimmer mode and also the stroke mode right here stroke mode and also i'll show you the rear lights the tail lights i wish they would make it a little bit more brighter because I've had feedback that cars behind couldn't really see this light however they are going to work on that at the side here there are also RGB lighting but pretty dim RGB lighting I wish they were brighter like the Startron Mega but however in the next batch there will be much brighter RGB lights because this is actually a prototype the highlights of for me for this scooter is basically the suspension and the tires it's very different the handling is very different on this you get to do sharper corners with these tires as compared to the street tires on the mega the range on this is 90 kilometers approximately depending on your weight and also the terrain you're on if you're on a slope of course you'll achieve a lower distance but if you're on a flat road you'll probably get to achieve that and if you're on turbo mode you can see turbo mode right here eco and turbo so if you're on turbo mode definitely you'll be achieving half of that which is about 45 kilometers and also you get a choice for single and dual modes however i've been advised to use the dual mode because the single mode actually stresses out the motor because considering that this this scooter weighs 48 kgs it's not going to be easy for the motor to actually pull this whole thing a single motor i should say plus the weight of the rider you're really stressing out the motor and it's also the, the batteries and overall every mechanical part as well so overall i should say this scooter although very similar to the mega is actually more refined as compared to the mega but of course they serve different purposes the mega is more towards urban riding this is more towards like really very rough terrain you'll be very impressed with the performance in fact i always do a wheel spin when i press the throttle right here okay so let me show you some features so the horn is here not as loud as the mega however on this unit okay one more thing i forgot to mention with the mega and also i'm going to mention it now with the demon is that it's actually a remote so you can actually lock your 
scooter so it's pretty cool so I can see if you lock it now you're not able to turn on any of the electronics so you can see I'm holding down the power button doing this behind the camera is not so easy so it's not working see you can even on the light you can see the lights are not on at all because the, this lock button actually kills the electronics on the scooter so okay once I unlock it we just unlock it it still wouldn't work so you have to press this button right here so let me show you in front and show you the electronics turning on so you can see the lights are not on but when I press this twice see the lights turn on so this is a pretty good power saving feature especially if you're going to be parking it for a long time and parking it outside if you use this button and lock your scooter no one will be able to steal it because the, basically the whole system is locked down okay so let me turn it back on and show you the features so pressing good okay so now it's on let me show you the speedometer so you can see pretty clear display let me show you the features so you can see i'm on third which i usually write on third on turbo you can get first second third so very straightforward right there and then there's a mode so you can see your running time so i just on this so it's basically zero if you press it again you get your total trip you get your odo as well as your charge time so pretty good on, on one charge you can get how much range so this is actually your range counter i should say and that's basically it and the volts as well so this is the voltage this 66.3 right here so much better than the mega but still not that legible but of course i actually changed the mega screen and it, it solved the problem so no worries if you have any issues just contact them and they can actually get this fixed it's very simple one day you can get it fixed so what else do we have of course the folding mechanism is the same this lever you just step on it push it forward basically you can get your scooter folded nice and easy so you can see right here very nice and easy and portable so the handlebar folds in as well so you just need to pull this back and then it folds down 90 degree angle i would recommend definitely using safety gear with this scooter even the mega as well because it's a serious issue if you do fall off while riding so definitely i recommend gloves and some safety gear as well or at least a helmet and gloves okay so that's about it for the demon i'm really excited to get my unit because i actually ordered mine and it's on the way to Malaysia so I'm really excited to get my unit to actually ride this is a review unit so thanks to Star Wheels for giving me one to actually check it out and ride and give you my honest review if you do like this scooter hit me up in the comments and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this I'm giving you the links to actually buy this scooter so thanks guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video